Hey, what's up everyone? This is Piston2x here, and this is Call of Duty Gun Evolution, showing and telling you the differences between the guns that have been in Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops, and Modern Warfare 3. In this video here, I'm going to be showing you the P90. So here we go. In Call of Duty 4, the P90 had three attachments, with the most preferred being the red dot sight, or silencer. The gun was unlocked at level 40 and did 20 to 30 damage per bullet. With 50 rounds in a magazine, the P90 was the highest magazine size of any of the SMGs in the game. In Call of Duty 4, the P90 is one of the top weapons in the game. It competed with the MP5 for being the top submachine gun. The P90's advantages were its high rate of fire, low recoil, and large magazine size, but was the worst SMG for killing quickly at close range, with the MP5 being one of the best. When deciding whether to choose the P90 or MP5, it came down to whether you wanted the large magazine size and ability to kill at longer ranges with the P90, or the deadliness of the MP5 at close and medium ranges. A silencer was a popular choice as an attachment since the lack of ammunition is not a problem with the P90. The P90 carries the largest maximum ammunition with the exception of the LMGs. Now for a couple of real life aspects on the gun. The FN P90 is a personal defense weapon designed and manufactured by FN Herstel in Belgium and was established in 1990, which is where its name comes from. So it's a pretty modern gun, which is why it doesn't appear in Black Ops or World at War. But overall, as a gun in Call of Duty 4, the P90 was one of the best, and you could even make a case for it being the second best gun in the game next to the M16. Going over to Modern Warfare 2, the P90 was unlocked at level 24. It had 9 attachments with Rapid Fire, the Red Dot, and Silencer all being very popular. Since SMGs were outclassed by assault rifles, with the exception of the UMP, the P90 was less popular than it was in Call of Duty 4. The P90 took 3-4 to four shots to kill with stopping power, and with its high rate of fire and steady aim perk equipped, it was a deadly gun to hit fire with. It was a very good weapon in the game, but it sort of got overshadowed by the deadly power of the UMP-45 submachine gun. And a little known fact is that with the extended mags equipped to the P90, it increases your sprint time from 4 seconds to 7 seconds, so it's very beneficial to players looking to rush around the map pit firing with the P90. Now for some more real life facts on the P90, it can be considered a personal defense weapon, a submachine gun, or a compact assault rifle. Also it's currently in service with military and police forces in over 40 countries, and in the United States it is in use with over 200 law enforcement agencies. But overall as a weapon in Modern Warfare 2, it was very good and one of the best SMGs, but only moderately used as there were many other very good weapons it had to compete with. The P90 did not make an appearance in Call of Duty Black Ops, so we now go over to Modern Warfare 3. In Modern Warfare 3, the P90 is unlocked at level 38, it had 8 attachments with the Red Dot, Silencer, and Rapid Fire all being good choices. Unlike the other SMGs, putting a Silencer or Rapid Fire on the P90 does not hurt as much because it has a 50 round magazine size. Therefore, you can take out multiple targets without having to worry about reloading. And in Modern Warfare 3, the 50 round magazine size or 75 round with extended mags is even more beneficial than in Call of Duty 4 or Modern Warfare 2 because there is no stopping power in Modern Warfare 3 and it takes slightly more bullets to kill with most weapons. In Modern Warfare 3, the best tier 1 perks for the P90 are Sleight of Hand or Extreme Conditioning. Perk 2, I'd suggest Assassin or Quick Draw, and Perk 3, Stalker or Steady Aim. Now the very best maps to use it on, I would say are Bootleg, Sea Town, and Dome, since those are almost always close range engagements going on with those maps. Now compared to Call of Duty Force P90, it is not used as much because there are more very good SMGs in Modern Warfare 3 that it can compete with, whereas in Call of Duty 4, the MP5 and P90 were the clear frontrunners. And for some last real life facts on the P90, the P90's design incorporates advantages such as the unique top-mounted magazine and FN small caliber high-velocity 5.7 by 28mm ammunition. It uses a unique horizontally mounted feeding system that contributes to the weapon's compact profile and unusual appearance. Back to the game though, compared to Modern Warfare 2's P90, Modern Warfare 3's is much more popular because it doesn't have a competitor like the UMP45 in Modern Warfare 2. But overall in Modern Warfare 3, the P90 is one of the best SMGs in the game. And actually, I personally think it's the very best. Well that's the end of this video guys, I really hope you liked and enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for the next episode in the Call of Duty Gun Evolution series. If you want to go check out previous episodes on the MP5, M16, Uzi, RPD, AK-47, and M14, they will be down in the description. I hope you enjoyed it guys, and see ya!